Hello, thank you for joining us here today. In this video, we are going to be looking at the splitter node inside Ringbus Call Flows product. The splitter node is a powerful tool that gives you the ability to run split tests inside your call flows by routing a percentage of your calls to a different node or destination. Let's jump into how it works. On the sidebar menu, click Call Flows and navigate to the call flow you want to use or you can create a new call flow. Once you get to the call flow canvas, select the splitter node. Enter the node name. The label you choose will be available in reporting as well as be populated above the node on the canvas for better readability. With split test tag name, it's important to note that the call will be tagged with this value. It will also be added as a tag in reporting so it can be used for routing logic. When Respect Duplicates is enabled, the node will respect duplicate calls and route them to their original result. Next, we can begin configuring the routes for our split tests. For this example, we're going to set up a simple A-B test that routes half of our traffic directly to a target and the other half to a zip code gather node before routing to the target. To do this, we'll click the Add Route button. For our first route, we'll select Dial Node. Into our route name that will be used in reporting if a call goes through this route. Weight is used to calculate the percentage of how calls will be distributed for each route. If you increase or decrease the weight of a specific route, the splitter node will show you the percentage of calls that each route will receive. For our second route, we will select the Gather node. Give the route a name and verify the weight. As you can see, we added another route. The splitter node automatically calculated that each route in our node should receive 50% of the call traffic that is routed through this call flow. When we adjust a route's weight or add additional routes, the splitter will also adjust the percentages for the other routes in the node. A higher weight will result in more calls being routed through the node. For this example, we will leave both routes with a weight of 1 so that each route will receive 50% of the traffic. Next, we'll finish configuring the rest of our call flow by filling out the rest of the nodes for our split test. Finally, we'll give our call flow a name and hit Publish so we can add it to a Ringba campaign. To review the results of our test, let's take a look at how Ringba reports on calls that go through the splitter node. Navigate to your reporting and click on an inbound call to get the call details. Under the events and splitter result, you can find all the details associated with the event including the timestamp of the call, if the splitter respected duplicate calls, the selected route with the tag value we used for the route, the selected route probability, and the selected route weight. Clicking on the Tags tab will also show you that the call has a new set of split test tags. These tags can be used for further routing decisions and advanced reporting. Thank you for watching this Ringba tutorial. If you have any more questions concerning Ringba, paper call, or call tracking, go ahead and visit www.ringba.com to get in touch with a Ringba expert and we'll be happy to help.